What's up, boys? Today, I'm going to be walking you through our 4-2 loss for Slipscomb two nights ago. It was a really good game. Both sides were attacking the whole time, and even though I conceded four, I felt like I did pretty well, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. So we actually did pretty well in the first half to keep them scoreless because they're the top scoring team in the country. But early on, look at this. Hits the post, got a little lucky there, but I felt like this rebound save was pretty good. Um, I'm not sure how it ended up over the bar because I parried it down into the ground, but it did, and we'll, we'll take those every day of the week. The next play I had was really just sweeping up this ball. Um, as you know, I'm aggressive off my line, and yeah, we eat those. You know, in the beginning of the game, we tried to really build out of the back a little bit. Um, you can see here, we're kind of just knocking it back and forth between the center backs. And here's a pretty good long ball ping I had. Uh, didn't quite come off. The guy just kind of got over there and might have put a little too much air under it. But that's just kind of a hard ball to play. Here's another clip of me really just being aggressive off my line. Uh, they have really fast guys up top, so I kind of knew I'd have to be quick. Didn't punch this one, though. We did catch it. So there's that. This is kind of the moment where the game started to go a little bit downhill. Um, as you can see there, collision on the corner kick. That's our starting striker and number nine who really holds up all the balls for us and wins a lot of headers out of the air. And he broke four bones in his face on this play and had to have surgery on it. So not good, not what you wanted to see. They stopped the game for about 10 minutes to like care to him, but yeah, it was just really tough. And I'm not just gonna show you guys all the good things I did. Um, my kicking was a little bit off and on this game. Here you can see I was trying to hit it long and just completely messed it up. Hit it straight back to the other center back on the wrong side of the field, but <laughs> You know, here was a really interesting one because they had a really good free kick in a dangerous area of the field, and this guy on the ball has an absolute rocket of a left foot. And this ball he hit was kind of moving weirdly, and it was between guys, as you can see. And right when he takes it, it went through like three bodies. And I might have been able to catch it, but in my mind it was moving. It was those light Puma balls, so I just thought a punch was the best move there. And I got a little lucky, the guy hit it wide, but if he's banging that in off of that, I mean, fair play. As I said earlier, you can kind of tell we missed that aerial presence up top. Here's me just clearing my lines. We don't really have a big guy up top to win it. Here was an interesting play. So they had a free kick in a weird area of the field. I didn't really know where to stand. And he just whips it in and it hits off the bar. I felt like I was in decent positioning. And even if I stayed a little bit further back on my line, he, I mean, I'm not gonna get to that anyways. But I redeemed myself here with this claim off the cross. But yeah, that was close. Here's another clip of me really uh, coming off my line and getting this cross right across the six. Took a weird bounce, and I was able to smother it, thank God. Otherwise, that would have been a really dangerous area to spill the ball in. Finally, here come the goals. They scored all four of their goals in the second half, and here you can see played a pretty good long ball. He brought it down. Just unfortunate they won it back. And then, as you can see, here they go. Lipscomb building. Slipped that ball through. Just one-on-one -on, -one on goal. Try to make a last-ditch effort to get the challenge in. Penalty kick. Not much you can do there. I mean, it was really just me and him. I don't blame my center back. He just tried to make a tackle. That's what you got to do in that situation. And, I mean, fair play to this guy. This pen, look at this. Bang. Even if I guess the right way, I ain't saving that. Here's a pretty good save I had. This ball is knuckling like crazy. It's that dude with the rocket of a left foot. Those Puma balls, man, they're weird. They just knuckle. Here's our second goal. I mean, personally, I think our guy on the back post got fouled here. Went knee to his back. So wins the first header, knocks it down, rock it. I mean, again, not much I think I can do there personally. Just was unfortunate that it came off a set piece. Those are always the worst goals to give up. Here comes the third goal. All three goals that they scored last came in like five minutes. Personally, I think I might have been able to do better here. I mean, it was a really good finish, really good round to keep her from him. I thought I could beat him to that ball because it was just me and him, and I was wrong. Maybe I could have stayed on my line. Maybe not. I don't know. That's one of those where I feel like it's more hindsight. Hindsight's 2020 because if I stay on my line and he beats me, I'm thinking maybe I could have came out for that. And here's the last goal. Last goal was tough. We were just throwing everybody forward, and Lipscomb's got a dangerous attack, like I said, so they'll just punish you. I made a pretty good save on this first one. I felt like I put it in a pretty good area, bottom hand. And then we just weren't tracking back. And look at this finish. This is just class from this kid. Top ends. That ball curled outside the post and back in. But yeah, that basically wraps it up for you guys. I'm interested to hear your guys' takes. What do you think? Do you think I could have done better on any of the goals? Um, do you like these breakdown videos? Because I can do these every game if you guys are into it. It's really important for a goalkeeper to watch back his film with an open mind and really think what he could do better in certain situations. So I'm not afraid to like show my mistakes or show my good plays, just let you guys in on the information basically.